<laughs> right, good afternoon and welcome to Facebook Live. My name is Jody Bunting and we're live here at our WW workshop here in Mackworth in Derby. Because today, this week, in all the workshops, we're talking about fat. Is fat good? Is fat bad? Um, and last week in my workshop, I swapped around the milk. So we have tea and coffee in the workshop. And I brought this one along. And this is almond milk. And the reason um, it's good for WW people is the fact that it is lower in points. However, what I forgot to remember is that I have a dairy farmer's girl in my workshop. Welcome Tracy to the workshop everybody. Uh, Tracy is one of my helpers here at Mackworth. Um, and so this is almond milk, this is pasteurised milk, and then inside this flask, Tracy has brought along this. What is it, Trace? Well actually, it's full fat, full cream milk. Yeah? Which actually I have acquired from a neighbour who's a dairy farmer. Um, because my dad actually is a sheep farmer now, Joe, not a dairy farmer. <laughs> so thank you very much. But he was a dairy farmer, wasn't he? He was a dairy farmer, yes, he was. Thank you very much for the loan of the milk. <laughs> now I can see joining us on the live video is Ruth, who's also a dairy farmer. I feel like I'm being ganged up on a, all of a sudden. Ruth, it was far too far to travel to get up to, to uh, Dumfries to get the milk from you. <laughs> <laughs> so Ruth is our friend who is a dairy farmer's wife who lives in South Scotland. Um, so hi Tracy, Ruth. yes, hi Ruth, welcome <laughs> to the live video. Why is this so good for us? It's just, it's full of cream, isn't it? Full fat. Really. So again, the words full fat, um, full cream milk, if you actually put this into scientific terms, full fat milk, get this guys, this is important, it's still only 5% fat. Mm. Your body does need a certain amount of fat though, doesn't it? Exactly, yeah, which is what we're talking about today. Um, so it is kind of a misconception where people think full fat things, especially dairy, are actually really, really bad for us. If you are counting in particularly your saturated fats, then it has got saturated fat. But as Tracy said, it has also got lots of benefits. Uh, Ruth's saying hi to us both. Hi again, Ruth. <laughs> uh, what is the difference between raw milk and this pasteurised milk? Well, I guess that's happened he through the heating process, hasn't it, really? Yes, so what <laughs> happens is, to make it last a little bit longer, and especially this one, this is UHT, so this has really had every bit of nutrients cooked out of it. Completely gone, hasn't it, basically? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, but when it's Boiled raw up. from the cow, um, Tracy did actually mention a little um, story there where she used to take it straight from the teat as a child <laughs> as well. <laughs> Ruth will be laughing right now, won't you? Yeah, any of my uh, friends from school will remember being initiated by my uh, father, who when my friends used to come to the farm, then they'd be straight into the uh, milking parlour and they'd have to milk straight from the teeth. So, uh, Joe, thankfully, has missed that experience. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it, straight from the teeth, mate. <laughs> right, so just to, to clarify again, so if we all had a cow in our back garden, like a lot of people in Egypt do, to drink straight from the teat is the most healthiest, okay? Okay. But as you all know, know, we live in a not-so-convenience world, don't we, where we do need convenience foods. So this is where things were pasteurised, and then they were made UHT, which is ultra-heat treatment. Um, and this is why, for convenience, I would recommend something like, like an almond mm. milk. The only thing that alarms me when I do recommend things like almond milk is the fact that are we putting British business and dairy farmers out of business? You are. Yeah, I am. <laughs> so again, it's the perfect balance. If you obviously can't take dairy um, or you can't get raw milk or you, you know, so it just doesn't work for you, then yes, it's good. Um, but if you're having dairy milk as part of a healthy, balanced lifestyle, um, and remember the cost as well it is um, a lot cheaper than things like the almond milk, uh, then it may fit into your lifestyle. So the point of this video today was just to give you all the options, and obviously we're not dishing the dairy farmers. <laughs> we're not. <laughs> Ruth, you're listening. We're not dishing them. No. Oh, British farming, that's what I say. Carry on, you young farmers, okay? Keep, carry on, you young farmers. Keep milking. Um, so if people want to get raw milk, where can we get it from, Trace? Raw milk? Yeah. Well, you can, really, local farms, isn't it, really? But they tend to not sell raw milk. It goes off to Arla or varying companies. 
So, unless you happen to be living with a farmer. Now, Kay. <laughs> Kay, who is my other helper here, knows of a farm on the way back from Buxton. So between Buxton and Ashbourne, uh, there is a sign there by the sign of the road where it does say raw milk, where you can buy it there. Uh, Ruth is saying I'm too polite to comment. <laughs> You're not polite, Ruth. You're not. Right, on that note, we've got a workshop to run. So we better go now, guys. But thank you. Please leave your comments and we'll reply later. Bye. Bye.